Hello Geminis. So this is the monthly reading. Um, this is also, I'm changing the audio, so it might seem a little different. Hopefully it sounds louder because a lot of people have been saying the audio been sound low, so hopefully it sounds louder. Okay, but I'm also doing a collab video with 22 Tigers Tarot. Okay, I've been knowing of her for a while. She finally is doing her YouTube channel, so definitely check her out and support. She does keep a card, and she also do um, Zodiac readings, and she do um, what's called again elements as well too. Okay, please excuse the background noise. That was the delivery person. Okay, so. So this is her channel, 22 Tigers Hero. She uploaded a pick a card. So I know a lot of people are into pick a card. I don't really do pick a cards that much, but she loves to do it and she is phenomenal at what she do. And also she's about to upload elements and zodiac sign today. So definitely check her out. Her name is 22 Tigers Hero. Okay. So let's start with the general messages. Let's see what's going on. And also please take my notes. <laughs> okay, universe, give me a three cards there. What messages do you have for Gemini? Okay, so there is loneliness. Universe, give me two more cards. Perseverance. Doubt. Okay. And self esteem. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. So I feel like what the universe is trying to say, this is pertaining to a very specific group. I don't feel like it's applied to a lot of Geminis, but for the Geminis who have been single for a while, don't doubt yourself and don't doubt the process of the journey of self-love, the journey of life, the journey of having a positive, healthy relationship, okay? Don't settle for anything that's less, okay? Keep your standards high, keep that self-esteem high, okay? Don't get too caught up with that because this is a very specific message okay it's probably not going to apply to a lot of Gemini's but for those that apply the universe wants you to not fold okay remember who you are <laughs> I said that for Leo that's the same thing same message for you okay so some of you guys have some Leo in your chart I noticed Leo and Gemini be having similar readings so let's see what else I'm getting For Gem, I would put Leo too. Okay, deception in the first position. Okay, then there's attraction. Calling your soulmate, especially above and retreat. Okay, it's probably this. There's somebody that been playing games. Okay, one minute you feel like there's a connection, the next minute you don't feel like there's a connection. Like they're doing that on purpose. They want you to be confused because when you're confused. That leads to no movement because you don't really know what's really going on. So that keeps you stuck. So this person is trying to do that on purpose. Let's see what else I'm getting. If I unify three and four cards, five is going to happen. And Gemini is more five for March 2022. So this sudden one, this is someone who's a card space there. Universe, give me three more cards. Message concerned, expectation. I feel like also this is someone who's messy. They probably in another connection or had another connection. You're gonna hear from that the other person, the other woman, the other man. Pathway and community. Yeah, I feel like you are gonna figure out like this is someone who's just not worth your time. I feel like they would zone with someone else. Even that person is gonna try to confront you or just tell you about this person. I feel like this person still wanna be with the person that you would zone with. Okay. Um, yeah, so this is just someone who's not who they're supposed to be or so, someone who is portraying a false version of themselves, okay? Let's see what I'm getting. Okay, let's look at the tarot. Oh, 
So, universe, speaking of that Christ God, what's going to happen in Gemini, Spoke my King of Wands in reverse? Universe, give me four more cards. What's going to happen in Gemini, Spoke my for March? Page of Wands in reverse. So that card came out for Leo too, but it's an upright, Seven Pentacles. Universe, give me four more cards. Seven of Cups in reverse. Eight of Wands, the Sun. Universe, give me two more cards. What's going to happen in Gemini, so far? Seven of Swords Universe, yep, they're getting exposed. Someone named that. Universe, give me one more card. They can't, they can't fake the funk anymore, basically. This is someone um, who was really trying to, pers like, kind of like, pretend like there's something that they're not, okay? They probably had a whole family or something like that. Let's see what else I'm getting. Universe, talk about King of Wands in reverse. Three of Cups, Four of Cups, and the Hermit. Okay, yeah, so this is someone who probably was still having relations with somebody that they dealt with when they passed. The other person could have been a Cancer or a Pisces. Anyways, Cup of the Seven of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Cherry in the first Knight of Wands, yeah, this is someone who's a player. Universe, Cup by the Seven of Swords in reverse. Queen of Cups in the verse and a Fool. Yeah, so this is someone who is really, basically, they're not cut from the same cloth as you. This is someone who, hmm, this is someone who was really trying to appear like they're loving and caring, but in reality, they're not. Okay, and I feel like some truth is going to come out because we got a Seven of Cups in the verse, which is like, no longer being confused. Same things exactly for what it is. Eight of Wands is like messages coming through fast. And then I got the sun, which is illumination. Okay, let's see what else I'm getting. Universe card for the four of swords. Universe card for the four of swords. Six of swords in the first. Queen of Wands. Universe card for six swords in the first. Queen of Wands. Devil in reverse. Eight of swords in the first. Yeah, so I feel like some bodies that they deal with is going to try to message you or contact you. Okay. I feel like this person's doing it on purpose to see if you're going to let go of this connection. Okay, even though this person's just not, like, this person is not even worth um, continuing to give a chance to. But this person that they deal with, that they talk to, deal with, whatever, this person still want to be with them. So it's like this person trying to be messy to see if you're just going to, like, let this connection go. Okay. Either way, if it's resonating, I would say if it's if it's the situation is like that, it's best to just not settle, basically. Okay. Let's see what else I'm getting. Okay. So I'm going to make four cards. That was going to happen. Okay. That could be a leap then. I'll leave a while for energy here to inference towards to could be areas as well. Pinches I'm planning. Um so emotion that I kind of learned that you want or swords, solitude, crown chakra, being game, a lot of deeper energy, patience. Okay, so probably this is someone that you've been really trying to give this person a chance, really trying to see if they even wanted to. You know, be that person for you. I feel like some truth is coming out. You're seeing things differently. Okay. okay let's look here. for Leo too again. Um, but yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys were trying to see the potential with them. Okay, but I feel like with this person, with the prince, they're not really mature. The lover, even though they have potential, I feel like the lover can represent them making 
like having other options. What's it called? Chris, I like the commitment card. It's hard for Adonis and artists. Yeah. So this is someone, again, who I feel like they were trying to show you in a different light than who they truly are. Okay. So let's see what else I'm getting. Meditation bring answer, universe, anything that comes. Be assertive and no. Yeah. So it's not something that we ask. Okay. In the last few weeks, compromise. Yeah. So this person wants you to just hear them out. Um, forgive them. Okay. But I feel like this is someone who's have a cycle of doing this. Okay. Not with you, this is like a new connection, but with other connections. So they think that they can do the same when it comes to this connection as well. Okay, so let's look at the Oracle. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so we're going to go to the two parts. Let's just. Okay, so there is listening to my body and a flow of partnerships. Okay, so you guys, um, you had an indication that this person probably was not faithful. Okay, for the feminine, you know, probably the energy was off. Okay, um, you can just had an indication that probably this person was not faithful. So following my truth, believing in and following my inner truth helps me live an authentic and a power life. Okay, then there is listening to my body. My health is my life, the temple of my experience, and the greatest of my blessing. And then also there is a full partnership, the ebb and flow of relationship takes me where I need to be next on my path. Okay, so that's the reading that I have for you, Gemini's. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a personal with me at Queen for the Tarot at Gemini.com.